Mandeyam Shiguru Shiyata Parakamlam Shigurun Vaishnavam Sya Shirupam Sagrajatam Saganaraganatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shirishkam Vitam Sya Oma Jnana Timarandasya Ganajana Shalakya Chakshuram Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Gurva Bistam Supurakam Gurganara Sri Shasambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Bidam Ujvalam Bharatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Gurunsha Divyad Bhagavad Prem Noe Bijapranam Devam Divyatanam Suchantamaranam Balarka Chelanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadekavaranam Vairagya Vidyam Budim Shri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Param Banditam Shubhadam Madeka Sharanam Nyashi Swarashidaram Bansha Kopata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vyavacha Patita Nam Pamenibyo Vaishnava Bio Namo Nama Namo Mahamananyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gorata Vishenama So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami with translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is the uh, Adi Lila chapter 14, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's childhood pastimes. Katanchana smrite yasmin dushkaram sukaram babet vismrite viparitam shat shri chaitanyam namamitam Things that are very difficult to do become easy to execute if one somehow or other simply remembers Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But if one does not remember him, even easy things become very difficult. To this Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I offer my respectful obeisances. In his book, Chaitanya Chand Chandamrita, Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati Thakur, Pardon me. In his book, Chaitanya Chand Chandamrita, Srila Prabhudananda Saraswati says, One who receives a little favor from the Lord becomes so exalted that he does not care even for liberation, which is sought after by many great scholars and philosophers. Similarly, a devotee of Lord Chaitanya considers residence in the heavenly planets a will of the wisp. He surpasses the perfection of mystic yoga power because for him the senses are like snakes with broken fangs. A snake is a very fearful and dangerous animal because of his poison fangs. But if these fangs are broken, the appearance of a snake is no cause for fear. The yoga principles are meant to control the senses, but there is no scope for the senses of one engaged in the service of the Lord to be dangerous like snakes. These are the gifts of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Hari Bhakti Vilas confirms that difficult things become easy to understand if one remembers Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and easy things become very difficult to understand if one forgets him. We actually see that even those who are very great scientists in the eyes of the general public cannot understand the very simple idea that life comes from life because they do not have the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They defend the false understanding that life comes from matter, although they cannot prove that this is a fact. Modern civilization, therefore, progressing on the basis of this false scientific theory, is simply creating problems to be solved by the so-called scientists. The author of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita takes shelter of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to describe the pastimes of his appearance as a child because one cannot write such transcendental literature by mental speculation. One who writes about the Supreme Personality of God it must be especially favored by the Lord. Simply by academic qualifications, it is not possible to write such literature. 
Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gauramakta Brinda All glories to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Prabhu and all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Prabhura Kohila E, Janma Lila Sutra, Yashoda Nandana Chaiche, Hoila Sachiputra I have d thus described in brief the advent of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who appeared as the son of Mother Sachi, exactly as Krishna appeared as the son of Mother Yashoda. Sri Lanaratam Das Thakur confirms the statement that now Lord Krishna, the son of Mother Yashoda, has appeared again as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, becoming the son of Mother Sachi. Rajendra Nandana J. Sachi Sutta Hoyla Se. Balarama Hoyla Nitai. The son of Sachi is none other than the son of Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj, and Nityananda Prabhu is the same Balaram. Sankepi Kohila Janma Lila Anukram Ebe Kohe Baya Lila Sutraraganan. I have already briefly spoken about the pastimes of his birth in chronological order. Now I shall give a synopsis of his childhood pastimes. Bande Chaitanya Krishnasya Baya Lilam Manoharam Lokikim Apitam Isha Chaistaya Valitantaram. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto the childhood pastimes of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Lord Krishna himself. Although such pastimes appear exactly like those of an ordinary child, they should be understood as various pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the Bhagavad Gita, this statement is confirmed as follows. Avajananti mamudha manushim tanamashritam parambhavam ajananto mamabhuta maheshvaram. Fools deride me when I descend in the human form. They do not know my transcendental nature and my supreme dominion over all that be. To execute his pastimes, the Supreme Personality of God it appears on this planet or within this universe like an ordinary human being or human child, yet he maintains his superiority as the Supreme Lord. Lord Krishna appeared as a human child, but his uncommon activities, even in his childhood, like the killing of the demon Putana or the lifting of Govardhan Hill, were not the engagements of an ordinary child. Similarly, although the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya, as they will be described in this chapter, appear like the activities of a small boy, they are uncommon pastimes impossible for an ordinary human child to execute. Balya Lilaya Age Prabhur Uttana Shayan Pita Mataya Dekaila China Charan in his first childhood pastimes, the Lord turned upside down while lying on his bed, and thus he showed his parents the marks of his lotus feet. The word utana is also used to mean lying down on the bed face upwards or lying down flat on the bed. In some readings, the word is utana, which means standing up. In his childhood pastimes, the Lord tried to catch the wall and stand up. But as an ordinary child falls down, so the Lord also fell down and again took to lying on his bed. Grihedui janadeki laguparachina taheshobe dwaja bhajra shanka chakramina. When the Lord tried to walk in his small footprints, the when the Lord tried to walk in his small footprints, the specific marks of Lord Vishnu were visible, namely the flag, thunderbolt, conch shell, disc, and fish. Right, so these are the... When the Lord tried to walk in his, small, in his small footprints, the specific marks of Lord Vishnu were visible, namely the flag, thunderbolt, conch shell, disc, or chakra, and fish. Dekiyado harachite janmila vishmoe parapara chinagare napaya nishjoy. Seeing all these marks, neither, neither his father nor his mother could understand whose footprints they were. 
Thus struck with wonder, they could not understand how these marks could be possible in their home because they are the marks of Vishnu. So they're seeing these footprints on the, in, in the dust in the floor and there's, or in the, on the floor they're seeing footprints and they're wondering how is it possible that these divine footprints are in our home? Mishra ko he bala gopo ache shila sange teho morte hayagare kele jani rangi. Jagannath Mishra said, Certainly, child Krishna is with the Shalagram Shila, taking his childhood form. He's playing within the room. When the form of the Lord is carved from wood, stone, or any other element, it is to be understood that the Supreme Personality of God it is there. Even logically, we can understand that all material elements are expansions of the energy of the Lord. Since the energy of the Supreme Personality of God is non-different from his personal body, the Lord is always present in his energy, and he manifests himself on account of the ardent desire of a devotee. Since the Lord is supremely powerful, it is logical that he can manifest, manifest himself in his energy. Deity worship or worship of the Shalagram Shila is not idol worship. The deity of the Lord in the house of a pure devotee can act exactly as he can in his original transcendental personality. Well, we, we say that the Lord is present in Nam Rupa Guna Lila. Nam Rupa Guna and Lila. So, in his na name, in the Lord's name, Rupa in his form, the deity form, Nam Rupa Guna in his divine pastimes, and Nam Rupa Guna in his divine qualities, and Lila, Guna in his. So the Lord is non different from his name, his form, his his pastimes, and also his divine qualities. Say kane jage, say kane jage nimai koraye krandan anke loya sachitari pi la stan. While Mother Sachi and Jagannath Mishra were talking, child nimai woke up and began to cry, and Mother Sachi took him on her lap and allowed him to suck her breast. Stana piaite putrera charanan dekila. Sechina Paye Deke Mishre Molaila. While Mother Sachi was feeding the child from her breast, she saw in his lotus feet all the marks that were visible on the floor of the room, and she called for Jagannath Mishra. Dekiya Mishra Rahoila Anandita Mati Gupte Bolaila Nilambara Chakravarti. When Jagannath Mishra saw the wonderful marks on the soul of his son, he became very joyful and privately called for Nilambar Chakravarti. Shinadeki Chakravarti Bolena Hasya Lagnagani Purveyami Rakijache Likiya So uh, So Nilambar Chakravarti is the maternal grandfather of Lord Chaitanya. And he's he's a astrologer and he's very Versed in in uh, devotional science, you could say the of the planets, and able to understand all these things. So, when Nila Mart Chinadeki Chakravarti Bolena Hashiya Lagnagani Purviyami Raki Jache Likia, when Nila Mart Chakravarti saw those marks, he smilingly said, "Formerly, I ascertained all this by astrological calculation." and noted it in writing. But Trisha Lakana Mahapurusha Bhushan Esishu Angedeki Esablakan. There are thirty two bodily marks that symptomize a great personality, and I see all those marks on the body of this child. Pancha Dirga Pancha Shukma Sapta Rakta Shad Unata Tri Rasva Pritu Gambiro Pratrim Shao Lakshano Mahan. There are 32 bodily symptoms of a great personality. Five of his bodily parts are large, five fine, seven reddish, six raised, three small, three broad, and three grave.
The five large parts are the nose, arms, chin, eyes, and knees. The five fine parts are the skin, fingertips, teeth, hair on the body, and hair on the head. The seven reddish parts are the eyes, soles, palms, palate, nails, and upper and lower lips. The six raised parts are the chest, shoulders, uh, nails, nose, waist, and mouth. The three small parts are the neck, thighs, and male organ. The three broad parts are the waist, forehead, and chest. The three gray parts are the navel, voice, and existence. Although altogether these are the 32 symptoms of a great personality. This is a quotation from Sa the Samudrika. Narayanera china jukta shri hasta charan esishu sarva loke koribe taran. This baby has all the symptoms of Lord Narayan on his palms and soles. He will be able to deliver all the three worlds. Eta koribe vaishnava dharmera prachar iha hoite habe dui kulera nishtar. This child would preach the Vaishnava cult and deliver both his both his maternal and paternal families. Only Narayan himself or his bona fide representative can preach the cult of Vaishnavism or devotional service. When a Vaishnava is born, he delivers both his maternal and paternal families simultaneously. Mahotsava kara sab bolaha brahman ajidina balo koriba namakaran I propose to perform a name-giving ceremony. We should observe a festival and call for the Brahmins because today, is a, because today is very auspicious. It is a Vedic principle to observe a festival in connection with Narayan and Brahmins. Giving a child a particular name is among the purificatory processes known as Dashvida Samskar. And on the day of such a ceremony, one should observe a festival by worshiping Narayan and distributing prasadam chiefly among the Brahmins. When Nilamar Chakravarti, Sachimat, and Jagannath Mishra understood from the marks on the Lord's lotus feet that child Nimai was not an ordinary child, but an incarnation of Narayan, they decided that on that very same day, which was very auspicious, they should observe a festival for his name-giving ceremony. In this connection, we can particularly see how an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of God is ascertained by his bodily symptoms, his activities, and the, per and the prediction of the Shastras. By factual evidence, a person can be asked, accepted as an incarnation of God, not whimsically or by the votes of rascals and fools. There have been many imitation incarnations in Bengal since the appearance of Lord Chaitanya. But any impartial devotee or learned man can understand that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was accepted as an incarnation of Krishna, not on the basis of popular votes, but by evidence from the Shastras and bona fide scholars. It was not ordinary men who accepted Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the beginning, his identity was ascertained by learned scholars like Nick Nilambar Chakravarti, and later all his activities were confirmed by the six Goswamis, especially Srila Jiva Goswami, and Srila Rupa Goswami, and many other learned scholars with evidence from the Shastra. An incarnation of God is such from the very beginning of his life. It is not that by performing meditation one can become an incarnation of God all of a sudden. Such false incarnations are men for fools and rascals, not sane men. So this is some explanation by Srila Prabhupada. He's presenting an, an understanding for the reader that you cannot just whimsically accept someone as an incarnation of God, as many people are prone to do. So he's giving a warning, but we can see from the very beginning there was evidence in the case of Mahaprabhu that he had the markings of Vishnu in his feet. He was hit by his horoscope. This was confirmed by the knowledge of learned persons like Nilambar Chakravarti and basis with reference to, this, to the scriptures. All this was ascertained. Sarvalokera koribe ihandarshana poshan vishambaranam ihar etakaran. And what is also very 
for us very formidable is that great personalities like Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami, uh, Sanatan Goswami, they, they were all great saints and they all accepted Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on the basis of this evidence as the Supreme Lord himself. So it wasn't just, it, this wasn't just done by so-called so vox populi. It was just done, and for us especially, we see so many great personalities in the line of Mahaprabhu and they all look to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for inspiration and you know, being the Lord himself. Sarvalokera koribe ihandarana Poshan, Vishvambara Nami, Etakaran. In the future, this child will protect and maintain all the world. For this reason, he is to be called Vishvambar. The Chaitanya Bhagavat confirms that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by his birth, has made the whole world peaceful. As in the past, Narayan protected this earth in his incarnation as Varaha. Because of his protecting and maintaining this world, in the present Kali Yuga, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is known as Vishwambar, which refers to one who feeds the entire world. The movement inaugurated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he was present 500 years ago is again being propagated all over the world. And factually, we are seeing its practical results. People are being saved, protected, and maintained by this Hare Krishna movement. Thousands of followers, especially Western youths are taking part in this Hare Krishna movement and how safe and happy they feel can be understood from the expressions of gratitude in their hundreds and thousands of letters. The name Vishwambara is also mentioned in the Tarva Veda Samhita. Vishwambara Vishvena Ma Barasha Pahi Swaha or Vishwambara Vishwambar Vishvena Ma Barasha Pahishvaha. Okay, doesn't give a translation. Shuni Sachi Mishrera Mani Ananda Barila Brahmana Brahmani Ani Mahotsava Koila. And this, this is uh, actually, we could say this in this material world, there there is many dangers and many problems. We we see sing that every every day. We say. Uh, 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 when we're doing, let me see. Uh, in which we're certain this life is full of innumerable miseries. Yes. This life is full of many problems, miseries, and dangers. But actually we see, in the case of the devotees, these, we can say that in some ways, these dangers are minimized because the devotees actually feel peace and protection by being taking shelter under the lotus feet of Gurudev and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There is some shelter in this world. Shuni Sachi Mishraramani Ananda Barila Brahmana Brahmani Ani Mahotsava Koila. So reading here. The Ch Lord Chaitanya's childhood pastimes held. Mother Sachi saw the signs of Vishnu on the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu and Nilambar, Vishwa Nilambar Chakravarti was called and he, and he performed a name-giving ceremony for the child and he was given the name Vishwambar who will nourish and protect this whole world. After hearing Nilambar Chakravarti's prediction, Sachimata and Jagannath Mishra observed the name-giving festival in great joy, inviting all the Brahmins and their wives. In the Vedic, in the Vedic, it is the Vedic system to observe all kinds of festivals, including birthday festivals, marriage festivals, name-giving festivals, and festivals marking the beginning of education by especially inviting Brahmins. In every festival, the Brahmins are to be fed first. When the Brahmins are pleased, they bless the festival by chanting Vedic mantras or the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Tabekata Dine Prabhura Janu Chakraman Nana Chamatkara Tata Koraila Darshan 
After some days, the Lord began to crawl on his feet, and he caused various wonderful things to be seen. The Chaitanya Bhagwat describes that one day while the Lord was crawling upon his knees, the bells on his waist uh, ringing very... The bells on his waist ringing very sweetly. A snake came out to crawl in the Lord's yard, and the Lord captured the snake like a curious child. Immediately the snake coiled over him. The Lord as a child then rested on the snake, and after some time the snake went away, leaving the Lord aside. Grandanera chali malaila harinam Nari Sabha Hari Bole Hase Gunadam. The Lord caused all the ladies to chant the holy names of the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra on the plea of his crying, and while they chanted, the Lord would smile. In the Chaitanya Bhagavat, this pastime is described as follows The Lord, with his beautiful eyes, would cry, but he would stop immediately upon hearing the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra. When the ladies, understanding the, the fun of the Lord, discovered that he would cry and then stop upon hearing the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. They all took it as a clue to chant Hare Krishna as soon as the Lord cried. Thus he, it became a regular function. The Lord would cry and the ladies would begin chanting the Hare Krishna ma mantra, clapping their hands. In this way, all the ladies of the neighborhood, neighboring houses would assemble in the, in the home of Sachi Mata jo to join in the Sankarnan movement 24 hours a day. As long as the ladies continued to chant, they, the Lord would not cry, but would very s pleasingly smile upon them. So then th they began to call him Gora Hari. Tabe kata dine koila para chakraman sishugane mili koila bibida kelan. After some days, the Lord began to move his legs and walk. He mixed with other children and exhibited various sports. Ekdin sachi koi sandesha aniya batabori diaboy balo kauta bashiya. One day while the Lord was enjoying his playful sports with the other little children, Mother Sachi brought a dish filled with, uh, with koi, with puffed rice and sweetmeats, and asked the Lord to sit down and eat them. Eta bole gela sachi grihe karma korite lukaya lagila sishu mritika kaite. But when she returned to her household duties, the child hid from his mother and began to eat dirt or began to eat, uh, let's see, yes, began to eat dirt or mud. Deki sachi dana aila kori hoi hai hai matik. Kari loya kohe mati kene kai. Seeing this, Mother Sachi hastily returned and exclaimed, What is this? What is this? She snatched the dirt from the hands of the Lord and inquired why he was eating it. He was eating some, like some mud. Kandila bolana sishu kene gora rosh. Tumi mati kaite dile mora kibar dosh. Trying, the child inquired from his mother, Why are you angry? You have already given me dirt. You have already given me soil to eat. What is my fault? Fused rice, sweet meats, or, or koi, puff rice, Sweetmeats and all other eatables are but transformations of earth. This is earth. That is earth. Please consider what is the difference between them. Mati deho mati baka dekaha bichari avichare deho dosha ki bolite pari. This body is a transformation of earth, and the eatables are also a transformation of earth. Please reflect upon this. You are blaming me without consideration. What can I say? This is an explanation of the Mayavad philosophy which takes everything to be one. The necessities of the body, namely eating, sleeping, mating, and defending are all unnecessary in spiritual life. 
when one is elevated to the spiritual platform and there are no more bodily necessities and in activities pertaining to the bodily necessities there are no no spiritual considerations in other words the more we eat sleep have sex and try to defend ourselves the more we engage in mundane activities unfortunately mayavadi philosophers considered devotional activities to be bodily activities they cannot understand the simple explanation in the bhagavad gita mam chayo vyabhicharena bhakti yogena sevate sagunan samatityaitan brahma bhuya yakopate anyone who engages in spiritual devotional service without motivation rendering such service for the satisfaction of the lord is elevated immediately to the spiritual platform and all the activities are spiritual brahma bhuyaya refers to brahm to brahman spiritual activities although mayavadi philosophies philosophers are very eager to merge into the brahman effulgence they have no brahman activities it's because they consider everything to be maya that's why they're called mayavadi anyway the lord is speaking something of mayavad philosophy saying it's all one food comes from earth and therefore you know the five material elements uh what is it earth water uh air fire earth water air fire and ether like that so mahaprabhu is saying everything can all food stuffs are also containing earth as one of the elements and i'm eating earth so what is the problem so i'll just say some say that when i was also when i was studying science they would they would always say the difference between organic and inorganic elements was were basically the organic elements contain a carbon chain and inorganic elements like salt which is sodium chloride they don't have an organic organic chain therefore they're called inorganic but nowadays they sell as organic you know foods that are raised under special conditions that they don't have any artificial fertilizers and and their or pesticides and their grown organically but as far as our understand my understanding all food except for that which is inorganic like salt all food is organic so you could say you could argue what well, is this organic because it's this this is organic because an apple can't be anything but organic but no we have a different definition but ma ma prabhu is saying everything is a transformation of earth and you've already given me food which is a transformation of earth and i'm eating mud which is also earth so what's the difference antare vishmita sachi bolela tahare matikaite gyana joga je chikaila tore astonished that the child was speaking mayavad philosophy or here it says gyana yoga referring to uh, you know just giving some dry gyan astonished that the child was speaking mayavad philosophy mother sachi replied who has taught you this philosophical speculation that justifies eating dirt in a philosophical discourse between the mother and the son when the son said that everything is one as impersonal say the mother replied if everything is one why do people in general not eat dirt but eat the, the food grains produced from the earth or from the dirt matara vikarana kaile deho pushti hoy mate kaile roga hoy deho jaya koy replying to the mayavad idea of the child philosopher mother sachi said my dear boy if we eat earth transformed into grain our body is nourished and it becomes strong but if we eat dirt in in its crude state the body becomes diseased instead of nourished and thus it is destroyed matera vikare gate bhane bhariyani mate pinde dori jabe shoshi jai pani in a water pot which is a transformation of dirt 
or earth. I can bring a I can bring water very easily, but if I poured water on a lump of dirt, the lump would soak up the water and my labor would be useless. Atma lukaite prabhu bolila tahare age keno ihamata na shikala more. The Lord replied to his mother, Why did you conceal self realization by not teaching me this practical philosophy in the beginning? Ebina janilan aramatina kaiba kudalage jabe tabe tomara stana piva. Now that I can understand this philosophy, there no more shall I eat dirt. Whenever I, whenever I am hungry, I shall suck your breast and drink your breast milk. Etaboli jan janaira kolete jadia. Stanabaya Kore Prabhu Ishadhashiya. After saying this, the Lord, smiling sl slightly, climbed on the lap of his mother and sucked her breast. Emate Nana Chale Aishvarya Dekaya Balya Baba Prakatiya Paschat Lukaya. Thus, under various excuses, the Lord exhibited his opulence as much as possible in his childhood, and later, after exhibiting such opulences, he hid himself. Atiti biprer ana kailatin bar pache gupte se vipre korila nistar. On one occasion, the Lord ate the food of a Brahmin guest three times, and later, in confidence, the Lord delivered that Brahmin from material engagement. The story of the deliverance of this Brahmin is as follows. A Brahmin who was touring all over the country, traveled from one place of pilgrimage to another, and he reached Navadip and became a guest in the house of Jagannath Mishra. Jagannath Mishra gave him all ingredients for cooking, and the Brahmin prepared his food for offering. When the Brahmin was offering the food to Lord Vishnu in meditation, child Nimai came before him and began to eat it. And because of this, the Brahmin thought that the whole offering had been spoiled. Therefore, by the request of Jagannath Mishra, he cooked for a second time. But when he was meditating, the child again came before him and began to eat the food, again spoiling the offering. By the request of Jagannath Mishra, the Brahmin cooked for a third time. But for a third time, the, ch the Lord came before him and began to eat the food. Although the child had been locked within a room and everyone was sleeping because it was late at night. Thus thinking that on that day Lord Vishnu was not willing to accept his food and that he was therefore ordained to fast, a Brahmin became greatly agitated and cried aloud, Hi, hi, what, is, what has been done? What has been done? When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the Brahmin in that agitated state, he told him, Formerly I was the son of Mother Yashoda. At that time also you became a guest in the house of Nandamars. And I disturbed you in this way. I am very much pleased by your devotion. Therefore, I am eating the food you have prepared. Understanding the favor offered to him by the Lord, the Brahman was greatly pleased, and he was overwhelmed with love of Krishna. He was thankful to the Lord, for he felt himself greatly fortunate. Then the Lord asked the Brahman not to disclose the incident to anyone else. This pastime is very elaborately explained in the Chaitanya Bhagavat. So, Brahman thought his offering was ruined. And then Mahaprabhu said, you're calling me to take the offering and I come and eat it and then you're disturbed. So why don't you understand? Then the Lord revealed himself. So then the Brahma was very happy. But Kori loya gela prabhu ke bahire paya taras gande chadi aila tare bulaya as I said before, this many things are explained in more detail in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, but the early Leela, Leela, the birth, well, the childhood Leela in particular, these activities are more vividly described in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, but the emphasis of Krishna Das Kaviraj will come with the Madhya and Antya Leela. Actually, the, 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 the appearance of the Lord was described the previous chapter, the 13th chapter. Then this chapter is the childhood pastimes. So we'll have chapter, the Adi Leelas, 
basically the Leela itself is chapters 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then we go to the w then we go to the Madhya Leela, which is considered the by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is giving m most emphasis to the Madhya Leela and then later to the Antya Leela. Kori loya gela prabhu ke bahire paya taraskande chariyaila tare bulaya. In his childhood, the Lord was taken away by two thieves outside his house. The Lord, however, got up on the shoulders of the thieves, and while they were thinking they were safely carrying the child to rob his ornaments, the Lord misled them. And thus, instead of going to their own home, the thieves came back to the home of Jagannath Mishra. In his childhood, the Lord was profusely decorated with gold ornaments. Once upon a time, when the Lord was playing outside his house, two thieves passing on the street saw the opportunity to rob him. Therefore, they took him on their shoulders, uh, pleasing him by offering him some sweetmeats. The thieves taught, the thieves thought, they would carry the child to the forest and then kill him and take away the ornaments. The Lord, however expanded his illusory energy upon the thieves, so much so that instead of carrying him to the forest, they came right back in front of his house. When they came back before, when they came before his house, they became afraid because everyone from the house of Jagannath Mishra and all the inhabitants of that quarter were busy searching for the Lord. Therefore, the thieves, thinking it dangerous to remain, went away and left him. The child was brought within the house and given to Mother Sachi, who was in great anxiety, and she became satisfied. Okay, this incident is also explained in the Chaitanya Bhagavat. Vyadi chale jagadish hiranya sodane vishnu naivedya kaila ikarasi dine. Pretending to be sick, the Lord asked for some food from the house of Hiranya and Jagadish on the ikarasi day. The Chaitanya Bhagavat fully describes the Lord's accepting Vishnu Prashad on the Kadasi day at the house of Jagadish in Hiranya. Regular Prashadam is offered to Lord Vishnu on the Kadasi because although fasting is recommended for devotees on the Kadasi, it is not recommended for Lord Vishnu. The Lord Vishnu doesn't fast, just the devotees fast. So everything's offered on the altar. Once on the Kadasi, in the house of Jagadish in Hiranya Pandit, there were arrangements for preparing special prasadam for Lord Vishnu. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked his father to go there to ask for the Vishnu prasadam because he was feeling sick. The, ho the house of Jagadish in Hiranya Pandit was situated about two miles from the house of Jagannath Mishra. Therefore, when Jagannath Mishra, on the request of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, came to ask Jagadish in Hiranya for the prasadam, they were a little astonished. How could the boy understand that special prasadam was being prepared for Lord Vishnu? They immediately concluded that Nimai must have supernatural mystic power. Otherwise, how could he understand that they were preparing special prasadam? Therefore, they immediately sent the food to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through his father, Jagannath Mishra. Nimai was feeling sick, but immediately after eating the Vishnu prasadam, he was cured, and he also distributed the prasadam among his playmates. So we also do something like that on a codicy. And on a codicy, the small children, they're not, they're not fasting. They're given, they're given as they, as they choose. Sishu sab loye para parashiragare churikori drabhyakai More Malakere, as usual for small children, he learned to play, and, and with his playmates, he went to the house of neighboring friends, stealing their eatables and eating them. Sometimes the children fought among themselves. Sishu sub sachi stani koila nivedan shuni sachi putve kichu gila olahan. All the children lodged complaints with sachi mata about the lords fighting with them and stealing from the neighbors' houses. Therefore, sometimes she used to chastise or rebuke her son. Kenichuri Korakene Maras 
Sishure kene para gare jaha kiba nahi gare. Sachimata said, why do you steal others' things? Why do you beat the other children? And why do you go inside others' houses? What do you not have in your own house? Shuni kruda haya prabhu gara bitara jaya gare jata banda chila felila bangiya Thus rebuked by his mother, the Lord would go in anger to a room and break all the pots within it. So I remember also, this is natural for children when, when you're young. Sometimes you do all these things just to cause trouble. Just to cause trouble. No other motive. But just to cause some disturbance. Tabisachi koli kori koraila santosh Lajita Hoyla Prabhu Jani Nijadosh. Then Sachimata would take her son on the, on her lap and pass by him, and the Lord would be very much ashamed admitting his faults. Kabu Mridu Haste Koila Matake Taran Matake Murchita Deke Koraye Krandan. Once the child, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, chastised his mother with his soft hand and his mother pretended to faint. Seeing this, the Lord began to cry. So he, he hit her with his baby hand, and a small hand, and she, she pretended that she lost, fainted, and Mahaprabhu was crying. Narigana kohe narikela dehoani tabe shushto hoiben tomarajanani the neighboring ladies told him, Dear child, please bring a coconut from somewhere, and then your mother will be cured. Bahire jana anilena dui narikela dekiya apurva hoila vishmita sako. He then went out outside the house and immediately brought two coconuts. All the ladies were astonished to see such wonderful activities. They said, well, we can cure you. your mother can be cured, but we need a coconut. So he went outside and came back immediately with two coconuts. Kabu shishu sange snana korila gangate kanyagana ailata handivata pujite. Sometimes the Lord would go with other children to bathe in the Ganges, and the neighboring girls would also come there to worship various demigods. Ganga snana kori puja. Korite Lagila, Kanyagana, Madhya Prabhu, Asiya Basila. When the girls engaged in worshipping the different demigods after bathing in the Ganges, the, the young lord would come there and, and sit down among them. Kanyare Kohe Ami Puja Ami Diva Bar, Ganga Durga Dashi Mora, Mahesha Kinkar, dressing the lord. Pardon me. Addressing the girls, the Lord would say, Worship me, and I shall give you good husbands or good benedictions. The Ganges and Goddess Durga are my maidservants. What to speak of other demigods, even Lord Shiva is my servant. Apani Chandana Pari Parana Fulamata Naivedya Kariya. Kana, Sandesha, Chala, Kala. Without, per, without the permission of the girls, the Lord would take the sandalwood pulp and smear it, on his, smear it on himself, put the flower garlands on his neck, and snatch and eat all the offerings of sweetmeats, rice, and bananas. Krode, Kanyagana, Kohe, Shuna, E, Nimai, Grama, Sambande, Hau, Tumi, Amasabar, Bai, the girls became very angry at the Lord for this behavior. Dear Ma Nimai, they told him, you are just like our brother in our village relationship. Ama sabakara bake iha korite na jujai naloha devata saja nakora anjai. Therefore, it does not behe behoove you. Oops, what is this? I didn't even, before I had no service on this phone. I don't know. Anyway, something like that. It reminds me of Akari Maharaj. He was giving a program and like one of his phones went off. 
Yeah. Don't turn off the sound on that. Okay, the sound is off now. Uh. Therefore, it does not behoove you to act like this. Don't take our paraphernalia, paraphernalia for worship of the demigods. Don't create a disturbance in this way. Prabhu kohe toma sabha kare dila evar toma sabha bartahave paramasundar. The Lord replied, My dear sisters, I give you the benediction that your husbands will be very handsome. Because they're worshiping the demigods. We see that the girls in Navadip, they go to the temple of Lord Shiva to pray for good husbands. So they're going to the Ganges and worship worshiping Shiva and the demigods to have good husbands. And the Lord would go there and take their sandalwood pole, put it on himself, put garlands on himself, and eat everything that they were offering. So they would become disturbed. And he says, the Lord replied, my dear sisters, I give you the, he's doing all this, and he says, I give you the benediction that your husbands will be very handsome. Pandita Vidagda, Juva Dana Danyavan, Shata, shata putra habe chirayu, chirayu matiman. They will be learned, clever, and young, and possess abundant wealth and rice. They'll be they'll be able to provide for you very nicely. Not only that, but you each have you will each have seven sons who will all live long lives and be very intelligent. Barashuni kanya ganer andare santosh. Bahire Bartsana Kori Kori Mitya Brosh. Hearing this benediction from Ma Prabhu, all the girls were in, inwardly very happy. But externally, as it is natural for girls, they rebuked the Lord under the pretense of anger. Konakanya Palaila Naive Diloya Karidaki Gohe Prabhu Sakrodahoya. When some of the girls fled, the Lord called them in anger. And advise them as follows: Jadi naivedya na deho hoya kripani bura barta habeyara chari chari satini. If you are miserly and do not give me the offerings, every one of you will have an old husband with at least four co-wives. <laughs> if you give me the offerings and you're nice about it. Then you'll have seven sons and they'll all be very handsome and learned and they'll all be well well situated. But if you don't, then you'll have you'll marry some old husband who have four co wives like this. Yashuni Tasabar Mani Oilabai Kunakichu Janikiba Deva Bistahoi. Hearing this supposed curse by Lord Chaitanya the girls, considering that he might know something uncommon or be empowered by demigods, were afraid that his curse might be effective. Aniya naivedya tara samuke darila kaya naivedya tara ishtabaradila. The girls brought the offerings before the Lord, who ate them all and blessed the girls to their satisfaction. E mata chapalya sab lokere dekaya dukkha karo mani nahe sabishu kapaya. When this cunning behavior of the Lord with the girls became known to the people in general, it did not create misunderstandings among them. Rather, they enjoyed happiness in these dealings. So, can we keep? So, can we keep reading, or shall we stop for? Breakfast. Breakfast. Huh? Well, there's about. I'll just read the quick. I'll just read the. There's 30, 30 more verses in the chapter. 
Egdin Vallabacharya Kanya Lakminam Devata Pujite Aila Kori Gangasnan. One day a, a girl of the name Lakshmi, the daughter of Vallabhacharya, came to the bank of the Ganges to take a bath in the river and worship the demigods. Can you close the door just? Dari Deki Prabhur Hoilas Sabilashaman Lakmi Chite Prita Paila Prabhuradarshan. Seeing Lakshmi Devi, the Lord became attached to her, and Lakshmi, upon seeing the Lord, felt great satisfaction within her mind. Sahajika Priti Duhar Korila Udai Baya Baba Chanatabu Hoila Nishoy. Their natural love for each other awakened. And although it was covered by childhood emotions, it became a ca apparent that they were mu mutually attracted. Duha deki duha rachite hoila ulas deva puja chale koila duhe parakash. They both enjoyed natural pleasure in seeing each other, and under the pretext of demigod worship, they manifested their feelings. Prabhu kohe ama puja ami maheshwar amare puji late. Pabe Abhi Abhipsita Bar. The Lord told Lakshmi, just worship me, for I am the Supreme Lord. I'm Maheshwar. If you worship me, certainly you will get the benediction you desire. Lakmi Tara Angedila Pushpachandan Malikara Maladiya Korila Bandan. On hearing the order of the Supreme Lord, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lakshmi immediately worshipped him, offering sandalwood pulp and flowers for his body, garlanding him with malika flowers and offering prayers. So, let's see. Prabhutara Puja Paya Hasite Lagila Shloka Pari Tara Baba Angikara Koila being worshipped by Lakshmi, the Lord began to smile. He recited a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam and thus accepted the emotion she expressed. Sankalpo vidita sadvo bhavatinam mad archanam maya nu modita so so satyo bhavitum arhati. My dear gopis, I accept your desire to have me as your husband and thus worship me. I wish your desire to be both to be fulfilled because it deserves to be so. So it's very fitting that your desire is very fitting. E mata lila kori duhe ge lagare gambira chaitanya lila ke bujite pare. And thus expressing their feelings to each other, Lord Chaitanya and Lakshmi returned home. Who can understand the grave pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Chaitanya Chapalya Deki Preme Sarvajan Sachi Jagannathi Deki Dina Olahan. When the neighboring people saw the naughty behavior of Lord Chaitanya out of love for him, they lodged complaints with Sachi Mata and Jagannath Mishra. Egdin Sachi Devi Putriare Bartsia Daribari Gela Putra Gela Palaya. One day Mother Sachi went to catch her son wanting to rebuke him, but he fled from the spot. Uchishtagarte chakta handira upar basijachin shuke prabhu deva vishrambar. Although he is the maintainer of the entire universe, the Lord sat upon some rejected pots in the pit where the remnants of food were thrown after the pots had been used for cooking. So these are old pots and sachi ash Ashi Kohe Ekeni Asuchi Chunila Ganga Snan Kora Chai Apitra Hoila. When Mother Sachi saw her son sitting on rejected pots, she protested, Why have you touched these untouchable pots? You have now become impure. Go and bathe in the in the Ganji. So we are also seeing the pots were not clean and he's sitting on the pots and pots and Mother Sachi is saying, Now you're dirty, you should bathe in the Ganges. Ihashuni Matake Kohila Brahmagyan Vishmita Hoya Mata Korela Snan. Hearing this, Lord Chaitanya taught his mother about absolute knowledge. Although 
amazed by this, his mother forced him to take a bath. The absolute knowledge explained by the Lord to his mother is described by Srila Bhakti Vinodha Kornas Amrita Prabhaha Bhasya as follows. The Lord said, Mother, that this is pure and that is impure is surely a worldly sentiment with no basis in fact. You have cooked food for Lord Vishnu within these pots and offered the food to him. How then can these pots be untouchable? Everything in relationship with Vishnu is to be considered an expansion of Vishnu's energy. Vishnu, the super soul, is eternal and uncontaminated. How can these pots be considered pure or impure? Hearing this discourse on absolute knowledge, his mother was very astonished and forced him to take it. And she's very astonished, but she forced him to take a bath. Kabu putra sange sachi kore la sayan deke divya loka ashi barila bhavan So, when when something is eaten or touched by devotees, then it uh, what is the Bengali word they have for that? Now they, huh? Yeah, but they also have another word. The same, it's the same word that they use for shoes. A shoe is called juta. Yeah. Okay. If, the, if something is eaten, even if it's prashadam, it's, cons it's c considered juta and should not be touched. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it is prashadam. And if somebody is on a very high platform, they don't care if it's juta or not. They'll eat it. And, and this was, to me, very, very concerning because one time we were eating and Govindamars came and took took food from our plate and ate it. And not only did he eat it, he also took food from our plate and and for, forced Bhakti Kanan, Bhakti uh, Kanan Giri, the old Giri Mars from the Kiran Giri, Bhakti Kiran Giri. He took also food from our plate and made him eat it. So, but it, normally it would be considered juta. But to Param Vaishnav, they're not care, caring if something, they're caring if prasadam. And Govinda Maharaj did this in a joking way. He said, this way I, I broke the Brahmanism of Giri Maharaj. So, but... Did you meet the Tirtha Maharaj too? No, with Tirtha I wasn't there, but on... A codicy, he made him eat chocolate. Uh -huh. <laughs> and did Giri Maharaj eat that prasadam? Yes. Happily? Yeah, because Govinda Maharaj <laughs> made, made him. Hearing this, Lord Chaitanya taught his mother about absolute knowledge. Although amazed by this, his mother forced him to take a bath. Kabu putra sange sachi korela shayan deke dibya loka ashi barila bu. Bhavan. Sometimes taking her son with her, Mother Sachi would, would lie down on her bed and she would see the denizens of the celestial world had come there filling the entire house. Sachi boli jahaputra bolaha bapire matri agya paya prabhu chalila bahire. One day Sachi told the Lord, please go call your father. Receiving this order from his mother, the Lord went out to call him. Chalite chanane nupura bhaje janjan shuni chamat kita hoila pita matarman. When the child was going out, there was a tinkling of ankle bells from his lotus feet. Hearing this, his father and mother were struck with wonder. Mishra kohe ebora. Abhuta kahini sishura shunya parikini nupurer nupurer dvani. Jagadamishra said, This is a very wonderful incident. Why is there a sound of ankle bells from the bare feet of my child? He's not wearing ankle bells. <laughs> Why is there sound of ankle bells from his feet? Sachikohe ara ek adbhuta dekila divya divya loka asi angana barila. Mother Sachi said, 
I also saw another wonder. People were coming down from the celestial kingdom and crowding the entire courtyard. Kiba kola hala kore bujite na pari kohake va stuti kore anumana kore. They made noisy sounds I could not understand. I guess they were offering prayers to someone. Mishra bole kichu hauk chinta kichu nai vishambarer kushala hauk e matrachai. Jagana Mishra replied, never mind what it is. There is no need to worry. Let there always be good fortune for Vishwambara. This is all I want. Ematrachai. That's all I want. That there will always be good fortune for Vishwambara, for Mahaprabhu. Dean Mishra Putrara, Chapoya Dekiya, Dharma Sisha, Dharma Sikha, Dila Bahu, Vartsana Koriya. Egdim Mishra Putrar Chapoyadekiya Dharma Shikka Dila Bahu Varsana Koriya. On another occasion, Jagannath Mishra, seeing the mischievous acts of his son, gave him lessons in morality after rebuking him greatly. <coughs> <coughs> so Jagannath Mishra is rebuking his son for being too mischievous. Ratre Swapne Deke Ek Ashibrahman Mishare Kohaye Kichu Saroshavachan. On that very night, Jagada Mishra dreamt that a Brahman had come before him speaking these words in great anger. Mishra Tumi Putrera Tattva Kichui Nanjan Bhartsana Tarana Kora Putra Koriman. My dear Mishra, you do not know anything about your son. You think him your son, and therefore you rebuke and chastise him. Mishra Kohideva Siddha Muni Keni Noi Jese Bora Hauk Matra Amara Tanoi. Chaganath Mishra replied, This boy may be a demigod, a mystic yogi, or a great saintly person. It doesn't matter what he is, for I think he is only my son. Putrera, Lalana Shika, Pitara Swadharma, Amina Shikali, Kaiche, Janive Dharma Marma. It is the duty of a father to educate his son in both religion and morality. If I do not give him this education, how will he know of it? Vipra Kohe Putra Jadi Daiva Siddha Hoy, Svata Siddha Gyanatavi Shika Vyarta Hoy. The Raman replied, if your son is a transcendental mystic boy with self-effulgent perfect knowledge, what is the use of your education? Mishra Kohe Putra Keni Nahe Narayan Tatapi Pitara Dharma Putra Shikan. Jagannath Mishra replied, even if my son is not a common man but Narayan himself, still it is the duty of a father to instruct his son. Emate duhe koran dharmera vichar, vishuddha vatsalya mishara nahi janiyar. In this way, Jagannath Mishra and the Brahman discussed the principles of religion in the dream. Yet Jagannath Mishra was absorbed in unalloyed parental affection uh, and did not want to know anything else. Etta shuni dvijagela haya anandita. Mishra Jagila Hoila Paramaram Vishmita. Being very pleased, the Brahman left after talking with Jagannath Mishra. And when Jagannath Mishra waked, awakened from his dream, he was very astonished. Bandu Bandavastani Swapna Kohila Shunya Sakala Lok Vishmita Hoila. He related the dream to his friends and relatives, and every one of them was very much astonished to hear of it. Emata Sishu Lila Kore Gora Chandra Dine Dine Pita Matar Boraya Ananda. In this way, Gora Hari performed his childhood pastimes and day after day increased the pleasure of his parents. Kata Dine Mishra Putra Hate Kade Dila Alpa Dine Dvarasha Pala Akara Shikila. After some days, Jagannath Mishra inaugurated the primary education of his son by performing the Hatikari ceremony. Within a few, very few days, the Lord learned all the letters 
and combinations of letters. And this, this is the beginning of the Lord's education. It's called Hatikadi. He's given some chalk and he's then taught how to write the different letters and combinations of letters. Maya Lila Sutra A Koil Anuk Anukram Ihavishtir Vistari Jachin Dasha Vrindavan. This is a synopsis of the childhood childhood pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, placed herein, herewith, in chronological order. Vrindavan Dasakura has already elaborately explained these pastimes in his book Chaitanya Bhagwat. Ateva Lila Sankepi Sutra Koila Punarukte Baye Vistariya Nakohila. I there I have therefore made only a brief summary. Being afraid of repetition, I have not elaborate I have not elaborated upon this subject matter. Shri Rupa Raghunath Padijaras, Chaitanya Charita Amrita Kohe Krishna Das. Praying at the lotus feet of Shri Rupa and Shri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I Krishna Das narrate. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Thus and the Bhaktivedanta purports to Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila fourteenth chapter describing Lord Chaitanya's childhood pastimes. So very briefly given but complete. Okay, now I have to adjust this microphone. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinatha Dharadana Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhakta Raguna Sri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasa Raguna Chai go sai kodi charana banan Jai te vignana shami stapura Chai go sai jar
हरे नाम संकीर्तन को है नरधाम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे परिकर शिष्य गुरु गुरु अंग गंधार्विक गिरिदार जो की जाए जय ओम विष्णु पाद परमंत पारव जाकचारी अष्ट तार सर शिष्य मान शिल भक्ति निर्मल चारि मनोज की जाए जय ओम विष्णु पाद परमंत पारव जाकचारी अष्ट तार सर शिष्य मान शिल भक्ति सुंदर गोविंद देव गोसाई महाराज की जाए जय ओम विष्णु पाद परमंत पारव जाकचारी अष्ट तार सर शिष्य मान शिल भक्ति वकक श्रीरा देव गोस्वाई महाराज की जाय जाय भगवान शिल भक्ति सुनांत सरस्वती गोस्वाई ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाठ शिल गौर किशोर दस बाबा जी महाराज की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाठ शिल सात शिल नान बाकी बिनोद ठाकुर की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाद वैष्णव सर्व बोम शिल जगन्नाथ दस बाबा जी महाराज की जाय रुबनु का गुरु बार की जाय नमचार शिल हरिदास ठाकुर की जाय शिव रूप सनातन भक्त रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भद्र दास रघुनाथ सद गो स्वामी प्रभु की जाय प्रेम सि गो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदान हर श्री वासुदेव श्री गौर भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री चैतन्य चरितमृत की जाय श्री ल कृष्ण दास कविराज गो स्वामी प्रभु की जाय श्री चैतन्य भागवत की जाय श्री ल वृंदावन दास ठाकुर की जाय नारायण सुनी बाय श्यामनंद प्रभु की जाय विश्वपरेण्य श्री ल भक्ति विनंत साई महाराज स्वापा की जाय श्रील भक्ति कुछ मास्टर मार्च की जाए श्रील भक्ति तिलक नेरी मार्च की जाए नंद कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाए श्री नामदेव धाम की जाए श्री नाम मायापुर की जाए सपर्षद श्री नित्यानंद प्रभु की जाए सपर्षद श्री मान महाप्रभु की जाए श्री कोलदी की जाए श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत मत की जाए सोकेल श्री चैतन्य सरस्वत सेवाश्रम की जाए गंगा देवी की जाए तुलसी महारानी की जाए भक्ति देवी की जाए श्री वृंदावन धाम की जाए श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपी का वृदान श्याम खन राधा कुंड कलिंदी मुनि जो की जाय समवेद भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री हरे नाम संकीर्तन की जाय ऑल दी असेंबल डिवोटीज की जाय गौर प्रेम नंद हरि हरि बोल जय विष्णु पाद श्री वासुदेव महाराज की जाय जय श्री विशाखा देवी दास की जाय 